Okay, so this is my rocker plate video. Now, I don't make review videos. I've never made a review video and I'm not starting now. However, I have made a couple of first impression videos before. I've recently upgraded my Zwifting indoor cycling setup that I think is gonna make for another interesting first impressions Zwift related video. Guys, hi and I stay in my barnet. So this week's video is a little bit of a different one. This isn't just a normal Zwift racing video. Uh, I've got a new rocker plate as you know i've now been on zwift cycling and racing indoors for about 18 months at the point of making this video and one thing i've been considering for a while one thing i felt was missing from my zwifting setup is a rocker plate that's what today's video is about my new rocker plate <laughs> But I'm going to do a race today on the rocker plate. This will actually be, I think, my fifth race using the rocker plate. So this isn't first, first impressions, but I'm only five races into it. So it's still really, really early days. For anyone that doesn't know or doesn't normally watch any of my Zwifting videos, a rocker plate is a device that is supposed to transform your indoor trainer from a static lump of metal, so like this, into a slightly wobblier lump of metal this is obviously not a description from anyone's official website this is exactly the words i used to describe it to my mum when she asked what it was i'm gonna see after however many races if it improves i'm gonna give myself um time to get used to it so today's race is a zwift mainstream race now i've been looking at getting one for a while so when martin from omni rocker got in contact with me via email and offered to give me one to try out it was a no-brainer i just want to say i just want to say for the benefit of the video i have completely forced martin to talk against will on camera hello youtube i'm martin martin cooper from omni rocker so thank I'll you i'll do that again cut that we'll do All that right, we'll, we'll do, do that again <laughs> i will say as this seems to be something that YouTubers have to say, apparently. I didn't pay for this rocker plate. Martin, owner of Omni Rocker, who is a really nice guy, by the way, not only because he was offering to give me something for free, but it was obvious that he genuinely cares about his customers. It was a pleasure to meet him. So when you move your leg down like that, your feet wants to do that. So just keep that pressure on that side. He offered me one of his Watt Bike compatible Omni Rockers for free and asked for nothing in return. He didn't even expect me to include it in any of my videos, which is one of the reasons I've accepted his offer and the fact it was free and the sole reason I am making a video about it. Okay, on with you. Right. Oh God. Right, I'm gonna try it out a second. I need to, I need just to get it out of my system. Whoa. Right, look, don't look down, don't look down. If you ever try to get out the saddle on your bike on the road looking at your feet. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> You'll be kissing tarmac. I get offered stuff for free to try out in videos from time to time and I almost always politely turn companies down. If I'm not going to use it as part of my daily and weekly running, cycling or fitness training, then I'm not going to use it just to make a video. For you, it's you don't ride outside much. No. So just getting used this to... This is, this is like I'm trying something completely brand new. Yeah, just getting used to the seated motion is going to be a, a big bonus for you. I think a new rocker plate meets that criteria as I'm now going to use it almost every day and it's going to make for an interesting journey as it's made me have to relearn how to Zwift. What it is at the moment, you're probably still a little bit nervous yeah. in your head. Yeah. You're feeling a little bit skitty on it. I'm just, I'm just thinking about what how big of this learning curve is going to be it's not it turns out riding a static indoor bike on a device that moves quite a lot is completely different to what i'm used to now the other thing is i haven't mastered standing up on the uh on the rocker plate at all so when i stand i'm very unsure because i'm supposed to go side to side with it but i have to really concentrate to do it i'm in the wrong gear as well which doesn't help. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing as that really helps me out a lot, helps my channel. And do stay tuned as I have a race in this video that I think will make for fun viewing. As I share my first impressions, trying to stick with the lead pack up climbs especially and sprinting for the finish line on this brand new wobbly rocker plate.
Now, I haven't done this course in a very, very long time. It is the Glasgow Crit course, but it's the Glasgow Crit Reverse, which I really like. I like the reverse, but it's very hilly, which, you know, I'm gonna try and stand up. So this is gonna be a fun video. This is just a first impressions video, and I'm definitely not trying to sell you Omni Rocker or even the idea of using a rocker plate. I don't yet know if it's right for me, and I don't yet know if I'm gonna keep using it. This is where I apply the dramatic music. Having now had four races, and a long group ride using it, I'm finding it a very, very steep learning curve and you'll see why shortly. I'm, I'm looking at it now because, you know, it moves. I'll show you the extent. You can't see it on camera here. I mean, I'm, I'll zoom out. It moves a lot. That's the extent of both sides. The camera doesn't do it justice. When you're on it, when you're on the rocker plate, and this is the only way I can describe it. It feels like, do you remember, for those of you that lived in the UK, I don't know if they're in other countries, but when you were a kid in playgrounds, you used to have those like horses that were on springs. What I used to do with my mates is who could make the horse's head hit the floor? And they weren't designed to do that. They were supposed to just, you know, backwards and forwards. But we used to go like, by doing so, you inevitably fell off. That's what this reminds me of. The kind of, when I'm on it, it feels like my shoulders or my elbows are gonna hit the floor. Obviously they're not. Obviously I'm not gonna hit the floor. It's in my head. I'm exaggerating it for the benefit of the video, which is unlike me. But yeah, it's really well made. I will say that. It looks great. It doesn't get in the way at all. I don't have a lot of space in here. This is my office. This is where I work. The reason why my bike's in here, I'll be completely honest with you, is because it's where all my equipment is to record. If I have this in the garage, it means I've got to have two setups or use a laptop and walk it in between. I was worried it would take space up, but it doesn't. It's made absolutely no difference. So from a space perspective, Big tick, 10 out of 10. From a build quality, 10 out of 10. From a steep learning curve perspective, 100 out of 10. Because I cannot stand on this. And three, two, one. So as always, my aim for getting off the line in any race, I start, I start all race review videos by saying this, is just to make sure that I don't get dropped on the line. It's been a long time since that's ever happened. So I should probably just move on. I'm not averse to challenges, especially if there is a payoff. I've been reliably informed, not only by Martin, but also by others in cycling forums and people that Zwift, that a rocker plate can help with soreness and fatigue, especially on long endurance rides, which I enjoy to do occasionally. As remaining completely static on an indoor bike can increase stress in many places on the body, including the hips and especially the posterior. Now, what I'm doing in this race is this is a um, a tester race, uh, first impressions. I'm using this race as a first to, to make my first impressions video is what I'm trying to say. If you just want to watch this race in its full glory with full on commentary, then please consider supporting me on Patreon or join where I upload exclusive videos, including my weekly podcast and additional race review videos, including this one to that site. So yeah, please consider subscribing on my Patreon and my join pages. Your support I greatly appreciate. Okay, I'm gonna say this is incredibly conservative as a start to a race, a crit race as well. I heard someone say recently that races are really tough and you know that you're progressing when it feels like everyone else is slowing down. It's not that they're slowing down, it's just that you're getting more powerful or you're getting faster. And it really does feel like I've turned a corner recently in my Zwifting. I've been Zwifting quite a lot and it really does feel like I don't need to be burning every match to be able to keep up with the lead pack. So now at this point, we're coming up to the first big punchy climb of the race. Again, this is a crit race, so of course the climbs are gonna be punchy. People aren't gonna be conservative. Okay, first climb. Wrong gear. And I choose to stand. I choose to stand on the rocker plate. Wrong gear. And I'm, yeah, I'm in the wrong gear. I'm, my cadence has dropped significantly from where I was. I'm, I'm now having to increase my, or decrease my gears to be able to get my cadence back up. Completely the wrong gear. Yeah, I'm really struggling with my balance. I'm trying to keep the momentum. I'm trying to shift my balance between my left and right legs to be able to use the rocker plate to my advantage. And it just feels like I'm fighting against it at the moment. It feels like the rocker plate is another hurdle that I need to overcome. It's not enough that I need to be producing, you know, four or 500 watts to get up that climb with the lead pack. But I'm also having to overcome the rocker plate as an obstacle. That's how it feels when I stand. When I'm sitting, 
when I'm when I'm staying seated on the watt bike, it feels really good. So at the moment, obviously with my heart rate being in the 170s, I'm not feeling that great. But we're coming up to the second climb of lap one, and I am starting to worry a little bit. I'm thinking, do I stand again? Do I stay seated? At this point, I use my feather, which I was very grateful to have, and I stay seated because yeah, it just the first climb kind of put me off wanting to stand up again. So I stay in the seat, I power up this climb, and I use the feather to my advantage. I get to the top quite comfortably. I say quite comfortably, you know, I'm happily doing 300 watts to get up to the top of that climb with the lead pack and no one else went for it. Now I know that the aim of a rocker plate is to mimic the natural movement of an IRL bike, but that can only go so far. I don't have an issue with swaying in time with the movement from side to side on a bike up a climb outside, so why am I struggling to stand and move in time on a rocker plate? I genuinely don't know why I'm struggling with this. Now it becomes a theme on this race where the rocker plate is a bit of a hurdle when I'm climbing. Um, and part of the challenge is that I need to learn how to shift my weight between my left and right leg, obviously in the opposite direction to when I'm using that left and right leg when I'm pushing down on the pedal when I'm standing. So the rocker plate moves and it complements my Zwifting rather than at the moment I'm using my hands, I'm using you know the weight in my arms while I'm leaning on the handlebars, I'm using them to shift left and right and I'm getting that completely wrong. I'm getting the timing, timing's the word I'm looking for, I'm getting my timing wrong when it comes to powering up climbs and sprinting. Okay, I got the gears wrong on that climb. So you have to forgive me. Ignore that. I have got my trainer, dif let me turn the fan off. I have got my trainer difficulty set to 100%. I'd be interested to hear if anyone else has had the same issue and what you did to overcome it. I've got a sneaky suspicion that the answer will probably be practice. Considering I've only had a handful of races on it, I need to keep on with it. So I try and stand again on the on the rocker plate. I'm trying to use it. I'm really, you can just see me. Look, my balance is everywhere. I've got no control. I'm, I'm, I'm nowhere near as much power as I should have. I normally have significantly more power than I do when I'm seated. And because of my lack of balance and my lack of timing, again, that word timing is 100% the best word to use for this because that's exactly what I'm struggling with. I'm struggling with my timing. Because of that, I nearly got dropped. Not because I'm tired, not because I'm not able to keep up with them. I nearly got dropped because I just didn't produce enough power consistently enough to get up that climb with the lead pack. And that was 100% because of the rocker plate. I just haven't nailed standing out, out of the seat. I am considering a run up my favorite pixelated mountain soon as I found ADZ is always the best testing ground for any new feature or change to, to my setup. I do also need a new PB as it's been a while since I tried for it. So this is it. We're now in the last lap. We've crossed the line, the start finish banner, and we are coming down to the straight that leads up to that spicy first punchy climb. This is where all the action is gonna take place. This is what we've been waiting for. This is the crescendo before the finish. So here we go, out the saddle. I'm standing up, unbelievably, trying my best to use that balance and that rocking motion to produce some watts. I'm not doing too bad, um, but yeah, I'm, there's a gap now. There's a gap and I'm a bit worried that I'm gonna get dropped. But I did get back on, they reined it back in for some strange reason. They should have attacked as we come round this bend. I've made a decision to go at 400 metres. I haven't got a huge sprint. So if I decide to go at 200 metres, then, you know, I need to be dropping eight, 900, maybe even a thousand watts to, be, to beat some of these lighter guys. Because I know that even in Cat D, some of them are spicy. So I stand up, I decide to go at 400. I, I, I deploy my featherweight and I decide to go for it. But I just can't, I can't get the power. I can't get the momentum. I'm rocking all over the place. I just feel very wobbly. I would like to have stayed stood up. If it's just a case of try, try and try again, then I'm up for that challenge. As I know that when I do nail it, then I think that this more natural movement will probably help me progress. But only time will tell. If I was on my bike static on the floor, I would have stayed stood up there. So I decided to sit back down get my head together, which I just didn't have the time for, and try to spin a higher amount of watts and spin for a sprint finish. And in the end, I crossed the line in fourth. 
In regards to this race, I was really pleased to have finished in fourth, but I was frustrated at the end that I couldn't stand for that last ditched effort to get onto the podium. On the rare occasion I do forget that I'm on a rocker plate, I get that sudden feeling that you get on a roller coaster, that sinking feeling in your stomach when you suddenly drop, that I'm about to fall off the bike. <sighs> I mean, I know I'm not going to fall off the bike. That's ridiculous. And watching it on video doesn't do justice. To, I just look ridiculous. But it is an alien feeling and something that I do need to master. Regardless of what I've said, if I do decide to keep on keeping on with it, one thing I will say about Martin from Omni Rocker. Ah. Ah. Thanks for watching. Is that I really appreciated the time he took to show me how to set the rocker plate up. It was all alien to me. The biggest challenge I'm facing with any rocker plate, and it's not Omni Rocker specific, is that I love standing up on the bike to sprint. I've said this several times in this video. I like to power up climbs. Not being used to the movement, especially the balance and timing, has meant that I've remained seated in all the races I've been in since using this rocker plate. I will say I have improved my my cadence because of it since the last five races have remained seated I have become better at remaining seated so that's a big bonus I can see how these rocker plates are hugely beneficial I'm in a place where I desperately want to master it specifically the standing with increased power however if I do revert back to a static bike then it will be because of me and not the Omni Rocker as it is really well designed and built I will say that for now watch this space as I keep on keeping on. Thanks for watching this video and see you in next week's video. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. This race also put me within striking distance of promotion into the next category above. I'm only a few points away now.